been studying, reading, watching, and doing all my homework as you should be doing. And if I do state something or anything else, do your own homework and come up to your own conclusions. But I have never made a prediction on exactly what day, what time, and everything else that the world's gonna end, folks, okay? And my crystal ball, well, it's in the shop getting fixed, and hopefully I'll have it back within a few weeks. Right? So, I just wanted to bring that up and just clarify that for everyone out there. When you watch my videos, I talk about, you know, different things and everything else. It's basically, it's my opinion and my opinion only. I do even put that in my disclaimer. If you read down through the description, I do have a disclaimer that I state, you know, these things are my opinion and my own opinion only, and you need to do your own homework and research on any given topic that we are talking about. Because everybody can have their own opinion. That's why we live in this great country called the United States of America. We're not, I'm not a dictator. We don't have a dictatorship. We are given the freedoms to make our own decisions. And the reason that we have those freedoms to do that is because of the men and women that have fought and died for this country, for our American flag, and everything else, is the total reason why we have that freedom. I can speak my mind, and you can speak your mind. You're more than welcome to comment if you would like. I will never state exactly what date and time something's going to happen unless it is a hurricane or some type of event like that where I do know about when it's going to make landfall and how strong that it might be because those things there, I can go online and I can get all those details right from the National Hurricane Center. I'm very well capable of reading maps, looking at speeds, and doing the math to figure out just about what time it may be here. So on that note, I just wanted to get that off my chest. You guys put in the comments below what you think about all these people with the masks and wearing those things while they're riding in their cars by themselves. I still see people jogging, riding their bikes and everything else. There's nobody else around them. Why are you putting a mask on? The, the national rate of cases has dropped tremendously. The deaths have dropped tremendously. And that is all due to the fact that a lot of people are getting vaccinated. Now, do I think people need to be vaccinated? Well, I don't think it can hurt. But a lot of people don't trust the government. And be perfectly honest with you, if it wasn't for the need of me being able to travel, I probably wouldn't have got the vaccine. But that's me. You see, everybody's situation is different. Now, if you're an older person, say if you're in your, you know, 60 plus, maybe you should because your immune system is different than somebody younger. You know, it, it, every situation is totally different. And that's just how life is, folks. Everybody's situation is different. You have to plan for different things. You have to make sure that you are ready and prepared for your situation and your needs. Because that's just how life rolls. So I just wanted to get this little uh, um, pet peeve off my chest and um, get that out there. I want people to put in the comments what you think about certain types of situations. What's your main pet peeve that really irks you in this day and age, besides people just being idiots, and you know, I mean, let's go right down to how many times do you see people just let a door slam in the face of a woman? Okay, I wasn't raised that way. You hold the door for the woman, it doesn't matter if it's your wife, 
It just matters if the woman's walking in, you hold the door for the woman. You don't let the door slam in your face. I can't tell you how many times I've got my arms full with packages. You walk up, somebody's right in front of you. They open the door, they walk in, and they just let the door slam right in your face. And I always make a comment when I walk in, hey, thanks for grabbing the door for me. I appreciate it. I don't care if people like it. I don't care what anything. It's just common courtesy, folks. We seem to lost that in this country. You know, the days of, you know, people caring about people seem to be going to the wayside. And if you really want to get this country back, we got to get back to the basics and stop all the other bullshit that's going on because all that's doing is separating us. That's my opinion. So until next time, folks, you all have a great day. I hope everybody stays prepped, stay ready, thrive to survive, and 